and so this time it's up to you Verdi Ultramarine and um, Raw Sienna and go Raw Sienna and just a touch of burnt umber so now we've got some more some muddy banks along here maybe just a touch of Payne's grey as well I'll add a bit of Ultramarine and then give it a quick sweep Burnt umber, ultramarine, and as we come close, as we come closer down the page now, we've got some uh, some of the muddy banks right in the foreground there. Need some trees somewhere, I think. Um, so I'm going to go lemon yellow, Payne's grey, really strong. Maybe bring some trees down along here. There's big ones up there, and then they come down to the water's edge. Change it now. I'm just going to go raw sienna. Maybe a few. You can see the odd tree trunk and branch. Raw sienna. Touch your pain to dry and then bring that round. Tip the edges in the water again just to bring the hairs together. When we're doing these little bits that stick out, these little bits of land, you've got to have the uh, sharp edged hike brush. I'm just putting these uh, underneath the bits where I sweep across, I'm just putting in the little muddy areas where the land meets the water. Even a bit more dark on the brush, could even, as long as it's straight, then just a few little flicks just to create some reeds and what have you. Obviously, as they get closer towards us, they get a little bit bigger. I might just uh, take the plastic card here, scrape in a, pick a dark area because it will stand out better and just scrape a few rocks in, just press down, very simple. Maybe a few on this side, just some little, little ones there. Obviously the further away they are, the smaller they need to be. I'll even stick something down here. This is very far away, so these need to be really small. Just at the, the foot of the... Uh, at the foot of the trees over there. And if I just darken... Stick a few more in there. Then. It just helps make the. Uh, as long as you don't overdo it, which uh, I'm pretty close to doing. It adds a bit of interest to the um, to the landscape. Add a little trunk. Just 
sit the number three rigger into a dark mix, plenty of water. Mix pretty much anything, as long as it's fairly dark, doesn't really matter what it is, and then just a bit more water needed on there, I think. But again, just the odd little flick here and there where we can see the uh, reeds and the grasses sticking through. We've done most of these with the ache anyway, so we haven't got to go mad. A few more over on this side, a bit too blue that one. I'll stop with that before I get too, uh, too far. Uh, I'll take the uh, three quarter inch flat brush into one of the dark mixes, ultramarine, burnt umber is always a good one. Maybe stick a few, a few fence posts. Maybe one on the other side, well, say down here somewhere. I think they look best if they just go off into the, go off the side. The picture. Um, I'll put the out. I don't think I'm going to need the hike anymore for this one. Uh, maybe a few birds, I think. So I'm going to go again, darkish colour. Doesn't really make too much difference what it is. Just take the excess off. Once I've got plenty of paint on there, I'll just take the just quick dab on the tissue, just take the, take the excess off because you might only it with a big dollop on the paper and just very gently, just a few simple V shapes, suggest a few birds flying off. Don't put them all equally spaced because it'll just look a bit stupid. Try and do them bigger and smaller as well to give the impression oh, that one's further away, this one's a little bit closer. And I think that's just about it before I go, before I start to really overdo it. So I'm going to stick with the rigger now, a bit more paint on. And I'm just going to pop my signature on it. And call that one done, I think. That's my very simple imaginary Scottish landscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.